We have a lot of things to go over today. Look at this. Wow. Pierce Beekeeping was so good to send us another free giveaway. I'm going to tell you about it in just a minute. We're going to talk about a few more ideas about the hat that I made in the last video. And we're going to march out to the bee yard where we make up our nucleuses because the bee inspector is in town and is going to inspect our colonies. Oh no, bee inspector! Thought I'd let you see some of the hives that we take the nukes out of every year. And actually today our bee inspector is inspecting these, uh, getting ready for the nuke season. And uh, let's take a look in on what they're doing with uh, the inspections going on. But these are this is the yard that I've never taken you to. Most of my yards uh, that I do my beekeeping videos are right there by my by my training center, a little bit away from my home. So I've never been here to show you these uh, hives. So take a look. All right, let's look at the inspector. See what he's doing. So here in Illinois, we have to make sure that our colonies are inspected, our, our nukes are inspected, and we have to get uh, health certificates and moving permits to stay up with the local laws. Before I show you what Pierce Beekeeping sent to us, I want to talk a little bit about the hat that I made. I made the modification to the hat and the veil in the last video. I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can watch it if you haven't seen it yet how much of a difference it's made. A lot of you left comment that that was a great idea. You're gonna do it, you're gonna try it. Everybody had some ideas on what would uh, work better, you know, like uh, a hot glue gun. Uh, all kind of ideas were thrown out there. There were some good ideas that you guys presented and I was shocked to find out that there is actually some places that make something that that will work with. And I'm going to leave a reference right here to one. Look at this website here. Uh, take a note of this. This is a website where they actually make uh, kind of like a frame on both sides of the veil, looks like to me. They kind of screw together, and then you cut the veil out in the screw together places. Holds it tight, I guess, and it looks like a legitimate uh, approach to doing the same thing that I did here. And uh, some of you mentioned that it was at Hive Live and it's been talked about before. Never heard of it. Never heard of the idea. <laughs> I didn't think I came up with it. I'm sure it's out there. But I didn't realize that people actually made uh, a way to do this. So, But my video was just for do-it-yourself. Like, you know, hey, I can, sh I can show you how I make a doghouse out of boards, how you nail them together, cut a hole in the front. You got a doghouse. That was my intention to show you how you could do it. I know you can go out and buy stuff. I know you can go out and buy a doghouse. Sometimes you just want to do it yourself, save a little money. So that's my intention of the video. But if you want to buy one already done up, there's the link. You can follow that. And oh, by the way, tell them David Burns sent you there. <laughs> and look at this. Wow. Pierce Beekeeping is so good to our uh, video channel here. They sent this, and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk to you about what's in here. We're going to open it up and see what you could win. Now, I'm going to tell you about the contest coming up in another day or two in a video coming up this week. But today, we want to look at what they sent. They said they sent over $400 worth of goods in here, more than the last offer. So it's time to get out my trusty pocket knife and get going, and let's see what's in there. <laughs> All right, sounds like uh, some of the same things that we got the first time. Uh, perhaps the hot knife, I think, is in here. I think it has the um, bucket, uh, draining bucket, where you can kind of drain your honey through some filters. But I think it has something else more in there they told me this time. So let's take a look. 
I, I like these knives, by the way. A friend kind of introduced me to these uh, pocket knives. Uh, they're actually made in Ohio by Hender. I don't know if you have a pocket knife like this, but I love these pocket knives. All right, let me set that aside and slide this out. It's fun. It's like Christmas. Nothing else in the box. I'll save that to ship it to a lucky winner coming up. By the way, when I announce the contest, you've got to be a subscriber. So now's your chance to subscribe so you can get that out of the way. All right, so we have the lid. Again, this is our main bucket here. Yep, touches everything. Some shipping paper. Let me put it right here so we can see it a little better. All right, there's our hot cutting knife. Famous cutting knife made by Pierce. Wow, if you haven't heard about this company, uh, this is a paid promotion. They didn't give me any money to promote this. I'm taking nothing for myself, but I still have to declare it a paid promotion video because they gave me this for free to give it away. But I'm giving everything here that they gave me back to, to our viewer that wins this uh, giveaway. It'd be great. So we got our cutting knife, we've got the uh, strainers or filter system, probably what this is too. And here we have the little wooden piece. If you didn't see my recent video where I gave one of these away, uh, I show you how these are used. Of course, it's got the honey gate that goes on this internal bucket here. Uh, let's see, oh, and here's something different. This must be the different thing that we didn't get last time. Oh, this is a frame grip. I've actually reviewed frame grips before. Started beekeeping using a frame grip uh, because I was scared to touch bees way back in the early 90s, but got a little more confidence over the years. So it comes with that. So very similar, got, a, got one more item in there, it looks like to me, with the frame grips. Let's just check and make sure. Oh yeah. So this would be a great giveaway. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna be making another video coming up in a couple of days. And in that video, I'm thinking up a great contest question that you have to answer as a subscriber to win this over $400 harvesting kit. So all of you that have started beekeeping brand new this year, this is the uh, ideal thing that you wanna win because this will get you started on how to really uh, extract your honey. And then you can use all this equipment here to kind of, uh, you know, process it through the strainers, filters, the gate, and get it all ready for bottling. So this is a great value. Thanks so much to Pierce Beekeeping Company. And so all of you that would be uh, wanting to win this, you're going to have to watch every video this week because you don't know which video I'm going to really promote the contest in. So be sure and keep track on upcoming videos. I want to get back to a survey that I gave uh, maybe a few weeks ago, but I gave a survey to all of you on YouTube that watch my channel, and it was a survey asking you to tell me how long you have actually been keeping bees. Now, this fits into the giveaway because the very first question was, how long have you been keeping bees? The very first one, uh, the very first option is beginning this year in 2022. And get this, this was the highest number of people voted on this one. 38% of you are brand new to beekeeping in 2022. So that's really great. I hope I've been inspirational to many of you to get you to get into beekeeping, 38%. But look at this, second year beekeeper, 29% of you. Third year beekeeper, 13%. And fourth year beekeeper, down to 8%. A five year beekeeper or longer, 12%. What do these numbers tell us? It's really hard to tell, but I think for just what they are right now, it says that for all of you that have, that watch this channel, that of those about a thousand, a little over a thousand people that took this survey, it says that more people are starting than, than are in their fourth year, which may indicate that some people start quitting beekeeping as years go on. I think that's true of any hobby, any sport, any activity, any event. A lot of people start with some good gusto in the beginning. They're excited. They're kind of pumped up about it. But as time goes on, you know, people are like, well, I've done that. I've been there. I kind of want to move on to something else. Or some people may just had some frustrating moments trying to keep their bees alive in the wintertime and slowly get uh, out of it. 
But I thought it was interesting after five years, the number picks up a little bit more. I think that's because those have, that have kept bees past five years, they're more committed to make it work and they figured it out. So it just goes to show that a lot of people get into it that first year and try it out, but two, three, four, people start kind of falling away from it. But by the time you've done it for five years, you've learned enough, you're good enough at it to keep going in beekeeping. That's what these numbers say to me, and I could be totally wrong. <laughs> but that, that's what I kind of take out of that. By the way, if you become an EAS certified master beekeeper, you have to be a beekeeper at least five completed years. That's one of the reasons we feel like if you've kept bees for five years, you probably got a pretty good handle on what you're doing. So that's some interesting survey numbers. Thank you guys for responding. I really appreciate that. Keep looking for more uh, surveys like this coming up. It gives us a better idea of what, what you're dealing with in beekeeping. I wanna thank you guys for leaving comments on my YouTube channel. Appreciate that a lot. Very encouraging, I, I really enjoy reading them and uh, can't always respond to all of them, but I try to get to as many as I can during the course of day. Christine says, okay, I have to admit it. I was a little doubtful at first, but kudos to you for the challenge. You made me chuckle and the background music was perfect. I like how you even used your B tools, marking pen, hive tool to help make your masterpiece. Thank you. Yeah, talking about the hat that I made with the little window in the front, and uh, that really worked out a lot better than I thought, a lot easier than I thought. But I did come up with some ideas that I would do differently this time. I think the best idea was to actually go ahead and silicone the piece of plastic on the veil and let it dry re really well. And then I would cut the veil off. It was a little hard cutting it first and getting it to stay in place. So that was a good idea that I, someone left in comments. And the next one is David Willis. He says, enjoy your videos very much. Been watching them for years. I have a question that you may have never received before. What is a lifespan of a virgin drone? Well, that's not really asked that much, David. <laughs> that is a good question. What's the lifespan of a virgin drone? Now, for those of you new to beekeeping or you don't understand the mating uh, sequences of the bees and all, uh, the actual drone is going out on mating flights every day, and he flies really high up in the air in a group of other drones, usually pretty far from the hive, but um, they are usually in that big cloud of drones called a drone congregation area. Virgin queens from other hives will fly into those drone congregation areas and get mated. And it's really pretty interesting to think about how all that works out. So when these drones mate with a virgin queen, they actually die right after their mating flight. The drones do. They fall to their death. Now, if they don't mate successfully with a virgin queen, they fly back to the hive. So let's take a drone that has never mated with a queen in the summertime. How long is that drone going to live? I actually pulled all the books up. Then I read different people's take on it, scientists, scientists making comments about it, and uh, it's all over the board. <laughs> I saw some that said most drones will live about five weeks. So between 30 and 45 days is when you would see most drones live if they don't mate with the Virgin Queen. Other studies show that some of these drones live up to 90 days. And so it's, we don't really know, but apparently some uh, scientists believe they can live up to three months if they don't successfully mate. Uh, but you know, who really knows? So let's just say somewhere between four weeks and 90 days, that's how long a virgin drone will live. And if it's closer to the fall, they don't live very long at all, do they? Uh, they'll be kicked out of the hive pretty fast going into winter. Okay, the next one says from Tom, he says, I'm interested in starting a hive. What do I need the most and how far should the hive be away from my home? Well, Tom, that's a good question. You need everything possible. You need bee suits, you need all the equipment, you need bees, hive tools, smokers. Uh, there's a lot to beekeeping. You need a lot of equipment. And as far as how far from the home you should keep it, that's really a safety concern. And it depends on how many young children you have, or maybe what uh, type of community you live in. If you're in the city um, and there's houses really close to you, you may want to put it on the back of your property away from other homes. If you're out there in the country all by yourself and you're the only house around like I am, um, then it becomes what's convenient for you. Sometimes bees in the fall, 
they become very inquisitive. And so if you have bees close to your house, you know, hives close to your house, and uh, in the fall, they start looking for every little drop of sugar or protein, and they're going to be snooping around your house. So um, you've got to keep that in mind, too. If you dry your clothes on a clothesline outside and your bees are taking off, they'll be pooping on your clothes or your cars in the driveway. So it kind of makes sense to put your bees away from your house a little bit because, you know, you want your friends over, you want guests over, you might have some relatives stop by on Thanksgiving. <laughs> you don't want them to have to deal with uh, bees all in their bonnet and everything. So I would say keep them a safe distance where you feel comfortable and the bees can do their uh, comings and goings and not interfere with your household activities around your home. All right, Blaine says, hi, David, I just started my first hive. One from a package and one from a nook. I'm very excited and I've learned so much from your videos. I did attend bee school at the state meeting and realized that I had much of my knowledge from binge watching your videos. Thanks so much. Hey, speaking of binge watching my videos, a lot of you are asking me questions about a video that's my video two, two videos ago answered. So you haven't binge watched even recent videos. So please, Go back and look at some titles, look at some descriptions of my videos because what you're asking me probably was answered in a video that I've made since 2008. I've been making YouTube videos here. And that's only a couple of years, I think, uh, right after YouTube started. So I've been here making beekeeping videos. I would be surprised if I haven't spoken on some subject that you want an answer for. Um, so look back. In fact, the first one that I made, the first video that I ever made was just a total embarrassment. It was actually filmed right here, right? I had a different kind of a scenario in this, in this room, but it was actually filmed right there. And I was like 10 years old. <laughs> I was like some little kid. Uh, but let's, let's play that. Now get ready. It's a horrible video. The sound is horrible. The lighting is horrible. It's just a horrible video. And it just show you how much I've improved my production in the last 14 years. Let's roll it. Hi, I'm David Burns, the Long Lane Honeybee Farms. And today we're going to show you how to treat your hives for mites without using medication. We do this by using powdered sugar. Each hive body will be treated with one cup of... Okay, stop, stop. I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with that. <laughs> That's terrible. That it, uh, I showed that to one of my grandchildren. Uh, he wanted to see the first video that I made, and I showed it to him. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't even figure out, you know, who I was. <laughs> and my wife was saying, oh, you need to delete that one. And I'm not going to delete it. Everybody has beginnings. Come on. Thanks, Blaine. And if you've uh, kind of binge watched my videos, undoubtedly and embarrassingly, you have watched that one probably. <laughs> All right, we got time for one more from Miguel. Miguel says, hi, David, I took your beekeeping class. I'm 15 and I started a hive for the first time and your videos have helped me a lot. I'm a little nervous and excited. Oh boy, good for you, Miguel. That's really cool. I mean, you know, 15 years old, my youngest son is almost 15 and I get that. That's young, good for you. You're very adventurous. You'll do really good. You may even become a beekeeping scientist. Uh, you may become a commercial beekeeper. You might just do it for a hobby as enjoyment all your life, but I hope you stay with it. And you know, uh, Miguel, thank you for taking my class. I really appreciate that. If Miguel can take my class at 15, you need to take a beekeeping class, okay? He did it the right way. He took a class, now he's gonna start keeping bees. Uh, taking a class builds up your uh, strength, your confidence, kind of takes a little bit of the nervousness out of it. You still might be excited, but it gives you um, a more educated view about what you're doing. So you're not just fumbling around guessing what to do next. Here, here's a link for my beekeeping classes and uh, check them out. One of those that you should really be looking at now is my spring management course. Spring management deals with supering hives, making splits, how to make splits, how to identify the difference between, you know, when your hives have swarm cells or supersede your cells. Take a beekeeping class that I've made, spring management, answering all those questions. It's so good to take a class. You've made a big investment in beekeeping with your bees, your hive, maybe you've taken some local courses or something like that. Get as much education as you can, and I appreciate that so much. If you take our beekeeping classes and complete the forms that we give you, the student copy, and send them back, 
Our teachers will grade them and I will autograph a personalized certificate of completion you can hang on your wall. Now, if you failed to watch the video of me putting this piece of plastic in my veil, here it is. The whole video is right here. Has some good music to it. You'll like it. Just spend a, a little bit of time with me. I'll show you how I did it. You might want to do it the same way. Stay tuned this week. I'm going to announce how you're going to win this giveaway worth over $400. I'll see you in the next video.